Diesel the Mean Engine. This is a story about Diesel the Diesel Engine. <laughs> he played tricks on the other engines, so no one liked working with him. But when Thomas got into trouble, would Diesel come to his rescue? Oh, I hope so. <clears throat> One day, Percy wasn't feeling well. His joints ached and he couldn't breathe properly. The Fat Controller came to, s to inspect him. You'll need to go to the works to be repaired, he said. I'll have to get another engine to do your work until you're better. The Fat Controller phoned other, railway, other railways to see if anyone could spare an engine, but the only available engine was Diesel. The Fat Controller didn't want to use Diesel because the last time he had worked at his station, he had caused so much trouble that he had been sent away in disgrace. But as no other engine could help out, Diesel had to do. The next day, Diesel came to the station to collect the troublesome trucks. Thomas was not happy to see him because Diesel had played so many tricks on him before. Take these trucks to the harbor, Thomas said, but don't play any silly tricks. He warned him. Yes, Thomas. Of course I won't play tricks. I'll do whatever I'm told, said Diesel said slyly. The troublesome trucks teased Diesel. Yes, Thomas. Of course I won't play tricks. I'll do whatever I'm told, they said in Diesel's voice. Diesel was angry. I'll teach you, he roared, and bumped into them roughly, sending them flying into a siding. The trucks crashed through the buffers and slid off the track. Diesel hadn't meant the trucks to crash. He had only wanted to scare them, but still he wanted them to do as they were told, so he said, That will teach you to laugh at me. Oh, Diesel, why must you? The Fat Controller was disappointed with Diesel. You will go back to the other railway as soon as we, as I can arrange it, he said sternly. I won't have trouble on my railway. After such a severe telling off, Diesel was glad to be going home. Oh, Diesel. A few days later, Daisy was going up a hill when she felt something splash against her wheels. When she stopped at the next station, she felt hot and her joints were stiff. You've lost your oil, her driver said. Bertie can take passenger your passengers while we get you repaired. Thomas had to go over the hill where Daisy had spilt her oil. He was halfway up when his he was halfway up when his wheel started slipping on the oil. Suddenly, Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle slipped back down the hill. As they reached the bottom, Clarabelle's wheels bounced off the main track on onto an unfinished siding. Her front wheels fell off the end of the track and sank in the mud. Thomas was left stranded across the main track. Oh no! Diesel was at the next station waiting to go home. He laughed when he heard what had happened, but then he realized Thomas was blocking the track so he couldn't get past. Bother! Diesel said crossly. I'll have to help Thomas or I can't go home! Workmen clean, cleaned the oil off the tracks. Then they put sand on them to help Diesel grip them. Diesel moved slowly forward and was coupled to Thomas. Wooden railway sleepers were put under 
Clarabelle's wheels so she could be pulled back onto the rails. Thank you for coming to help, Diesel, said Thomas. We could have been stuck here all day. Diesel gripped the sanded rails and pulled with all his strength. Slowly and carefully, he pulled Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle back onto the main track. Well done, Diesel, said Thomas. You have been a really useful engine. Diesel smiled. It felt good to be helpful for a change instead of always causing trouble. Diesel carefully pulled Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle over the slippery hill and onto the Fat Controller Station. Good work, Diesel, said the Fat Controller. You've been so helpful today that I am happy for you to come back to work at my station. Diesel smiled. He was pleased that he was going home, but he was also glad that he could come back again to work for the Fat Controller. The